The recent heavy rains have already caused significant damage, but they're also prompting fears. And tonight we have a first look at the large boulders that crashed into two separate homes. The first rock crashed into a home on Howe Street in Aina Haina around 1.30 Sunday morning. The second, just hours later, on 10th Avenue in Palolo Valley. Our team coverage continues with KITV's Shane Enright. Rain swept over the islands this weekend, turning parks into lakes and roads into rivers. The downpour proved hazardous for residents living along a mountainside. In Pololo Valley, a three-foot boulder crashed through a bedroom wall Sunday morning and landed on a young girl's bed. Fortunately, the child was not in her bed at the time. Crews from Coral Builders spent hours today trying to break up the boulder before they are able to remove it from the house. But there's no way we can take it out. It's too heavy. It's like at least 1,000 pounds. So we need to break it with the jack. Down the road, neighbor Gail Vielma was home in bed yesterday. She recalled hearing the loud crash. And I just heard this like cracking, crunching sound. And, and then it stopped for a few seconds and I heard like a big pane glass window like crashing. And I knew it was a boulder. Boulders are nothing new for this community. In 2005, a boulder crashed through a home just down the street. The Vielmas decided then they needed to check the land above their home. My husband went up all the way up and my son to make sure there's no big boulders um, to come down to our house. And they said it's safe. I don't know. <laughs> the residents decided not to stay in the home last night. Reporting from Palolo Valley, Shane and Wright, KITV4 Island Television News. An Ina Heine resident unscathed after a boulder smashed into the side of his home. The large boulder came down the hillside about 1 o'clock yesterday morning. The owner, who does not want his face shown, recalls the frightening experience. I was watching television, couldn't sleep, and all of a sudden this noise, it sounded like a bomb going off. Uh, and I found out a rock had hit the side of my house and knocked out, all my, knocked out a window in my wall and sprayed plaster and concrete all over the fam family room in the kitchen and uh, it was very scary. Fortunately the man was not injured and he guesses that boulder weighed about a thousand pounds. He says he will not move it.